Remember that a preposition is usually a short word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Have a look at the example over here. If I'm not mistaken, her birthday is in May. Note that the preposition in in the sentence is used to link the noun May to birthday. Her birthday. Now there are many types of prepositions and among them are prepositions of time. Note that these prepositions are used to denote specific time periods. Now we usually use prepositions of time when we answer the question beginning with when. Have a look at the example below. When did you move to New York? I moved there in 2007. Note that the preposition of time in tells us when I moved to New York. Now there are three main prepositions of time. A. At. At denotes precise time. It's in the examples below. I'll pick you up at 5. The preposition of place at in the sentence denotes a precise time. 5. And in the sentence, we're all going to be sleeping at midnight. Again, the preposition of time at denotes a precise time which in this sentence is midnight. Note that at is also used with such expressions as at night, at weekend, at Christmas, at the moment, at present, at the same time. Have a look at the example below. Mr. Rufus isn't available at the moment. May I take a message? Note that in the sentence, the preposition of time at is used with the expression the moment, at the moment. B. On. On is used for days and dates. Have a look at the examples below. I'm meeting up with my friends on Saturday. And on Sunday morning, I'm flying to Seattle. In these sentences, the prepositions of time on are used for days, Saturday and Sunday. And in this sentence, Mike has the project presentation on 11th November. The preposition of time on is used for the date 11th November. Same in the sentence. My family does nothing on Christmas Day. Preposition of time on is used for the date, Christmas Day. C. In. In denotes longer period of time like months, years, centuries, etc. Have a look at the examples below. The Parkers are moving to Greece in March. The preposition of time in is used to denote the month, March. And in the sentence, the story is set in the 80s. In is used to denote the century. Life in the Middle Ages wasn't like in a fairy tale. I don't know how people lived in the past. In these sentences, the prepositions of time in are used to denote longer period of time, the Middle Ages and the past. Note that in is also used with such phrases as in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Have a look at the example over here. 
Theo is an owl. He has a hard time getting up in the morning. Also note that we do not use prepositions before, last, next, every, or this. Have a look at the sentences below. I guess we'll see Alice on next Monday. Now this sentence would be incorrect because the preposition on is not supposed to be used before next. The correct form would be I guess we'll see Alice next Monday. Now let's review the use of prepositions of time and practice a bit. Remember that we use at to denote precise time and we use on for days and dates. Now read the following dialogue and fill in the blanks with at or on. Should I wake you up 6 1st January? Absolutely not. Why would you even do that? I just figured that if you start celebrating New Year, 11 p.m., you should be still up that hour. Should I wake you up at 6 on 1st January? Absolutely not. Why would you even do that? I just figured that if you started celebrating New Year at 11 p.m., you should be still up at that hour. Also remember that we use on for days and dates and we use in for longer periods of time. Read the following text and fill in the blanks with on or in. My free time, I like to go to bars and listen to bands there. For example, I went to see the Ribs performing Sunday evening. It was simply amazing. Too bad that I had to work one day and I couldn't stay for too long that night. In my free time, I like to go to bars and listen to bands there. For example, I went to see the Rips performing on Sunday evening. It was simply amazing. Too bad that I had to work on Monday and I couldn't stay for too long that night. Note that we use in with such phrases as in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. But make sure not to use prepositions before last, next, every, or this. Read the following text and fill in the blanks using the appropriate preposition of time. Clark usually takes a shower the morning and the evening. But this week he is taking a shower three or four times a day. It's an unusually hot summer. Clark usually takes a shower in the morning and in the evening. But this week he is taking a shower three or four times a day. It's an unusually hot summer. Here is a short story using prepositions of time. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. What does your summer look like? Well, I have my exams in June. I'll be studying in the mornings, in the afternoons, in the evenings. And at night? No, not at night. Nights are for sleeping only. I try not to mess up with my sleep schedule. That's a smart decision. Thanks. Then in a couple of weeks, I'll be backpacking with my friends. We haven't done it in such a long time. 
and on Fourth of July, I'll be at my parents. Now, time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and fill in the gaps with at, on, or in. Sometimes no preposition is needed. A. I don't like working out the mornings. I'm super hungry after sleeping. B. Where will you be New Year's Eve? C. Carlo went to Spain last June, and this time she'll go to Portugal. D. My parents were born the sixties. E. It rains a lot. Winter here. F. I don't like going out Friday evening. G. They're getting married twenty seventh of August. H. Claudia lived in Peru, two thousand and fifteen. I, I don't want to do anything special. My birthday. J, Frank usually eats lunch, noon. Now let's check your answers. I don't like working out in the mornings. I'm super hungry after sleeping. Where will you be on New Year's Eve? Carlo went to Spain last July, and this time she'll go to Portugal. My parents were born in the sixties. It rains a lot in winter here. I don't feel like going out on Friday evening. They're getting married on the twenty seventh of August. Claudia lived in Peru in two thousand and fifteen. I don't want to do anything special on my birthday. Frank usually eats lunch at noon. Thank you for watching this tutorial.